What should a married couple do when they're having trouble? They shouldn't be going to a faqih, they should be going to a counselor. That's a counseling realm. That's not a, that's not a, no, what does Islam say about my husband who does this, this, this? No, 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 no. There's a lot more to that story than your husband doing this, this, this. There's, there's, you've been married for some time. There's a lot of issues there you need to sort out before you say my husband does X, Y, Z. I need an Islamic answer. It doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. You're oversimplifying and you're trying to use the religion as a weapon against your loved one. Don't do it. And don't do it against your wife either. Husband and wife don't get along and hus- the wife is crying and he says, what's the matter? No, I don't, don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. And he quotes the hadith, you know, the, if you're displeased with me, the angels will curse you the entire night. <laughs> it's a sahih hadith. It's a sahih hadith. But you know what? You know what? Even if she turns towards you, even if she turns towards you, you think it's because of love? Is that love? You just, you were okay with threatening her with the curse of angels? You call that a marriage? Is that why the Rasul gave that sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Shame on you. How dare you quote that? People beat their wives and they say, Rijal qawamuna ala nisa. How dare you? How dare you disrupt the word of Allah like that? Rijal qawamuna ala nisa. Do you even know what that means? Qawam. I gave khutbah about that in JMC when I came last. The word qawam is actually qaf, wow, and meme. It shares a root with one of Allah's names, al-qayyum. Al-qayyum is actually a, one of, you know, Allahu la ilaha illahu al-hayyu. Al-qayyum. When a, when the Arabic language is sacred because Allah chose it for Quran. And within the Arabic language, the letters that make up Allah's names are even more sacred. So when you think you know what qawam means, think again, it's a letter. These are letters that are one of the names of Allah, come from these letters. So before you draw any conclusions, study, know what it means first. And it means caretaker, the one who stands up for someone, the one who does activities with someone. It has over a hundred meanings and beating is not one of them. Neither is authority. Neither is authority. Terrible transition, men are authority over women. The authority of men is established in other ayat, not this one. So we know what you're talking about. That's blasphemous. You know? This is ghulu in deen. This is the abuse of religion. That's what we have to prevent as a people. This is what, it's happening and it hurts. I hear people quote ayat and a hadith. Just because somebody's quoting ayat and a hadith doesn't mean they're right. Their own imbalance is seeing things in an imbalanced way.